Hello, so on the last video we did, um, the Mustang wouldn't start. Uh, so the fuel prop, it was a fuel problem because when we, when we sprayed fuel down this, down the carburetor, it would start and it would run for a little bit until the fuel ran out. So the problem was either the fuel tank, the fuel pump, the fuel filter or the carburetor. So we took off the fuel filter and it wasn't clogged and we ran we pumped, we, we cranked the engine over just to see if it was getting fuel to this point. There's the fuel filter. So fuel was coming out of here, so that meant that fuel was getting up to the carburetor. So it didn't mean, it meant that the fuel pump wasn't bad. So that was a good thing. The fuel filter was letting fuel out as well. So that was a good thing. So that meant that something's clogged in here. So took the carburetor off and... Now we have to rebuild it, take it apart, clean it, add new parts to it, and then uh, we'll put install it back on and see if that fixes the issue, okay? okay so we ordered this kit, which is oh, backwards. This is a carburetor rebuild kit. It's for a 2100 um, Autolite, which is this, this carburetor. So let's see what's in the package. Okay, so it's like, Comes with a little bit of a parts diagram. A lot of parts to go into this, but this is actually one of the most simpler, one of the more simpler carburetors. It comes with all these pieces, all these gaskets, new valve seats, new um, uh, springs, bunch of new stuff. So let's start taking this 2100 apart and see what's going on with it. It has four screws right here. So there's one, two, three, and then four. Okay, so I'm gonna put them all in my little magnet. Keep them all in together. And then, let's see, open up the inside. Okay, a little clip right here. I don't know if you can see it, a little C-clip. I'm gonna pop that one off carefully so it doesn't go flying. We don't wanna lose it. And there it is. Tiny little thing. See? Alright. So now this slides off. And that's not too bad. We can clean that off with the little chem dip. And then that's the old seal. And it's also not too bad. Okay, so here's the float. See all that? That's all gunk and varnish. Old uh old fuel just basically gummed up and see this little float this thing floats this is supposed to open up right here i don't know if you can see it that's supposed to open up and let the fuel in but it's as you can see it's kind of stuck so let's take it off and clean it pop this little clip off right here same boom pretty simple now we just take this off so we don't want to lose that spring see there's another spring right there as well that's the float that basically turns off the gas to make sure it doesn't. this doesn't fill up too much. So that looks in pretty good condition. Doesn't look like there's any holes. And then there's another little clip, little spring right here. Okay, now let's see. See that? Now that looks pretty good. I need another bigger screwdriver. Right there's a lot of gunk stuff right there. Okay, let's take off this right here. As you can see, there's a little gasket. Put that aside. And there's a little check valve in here as well. So we have to be careful not to lose it. See it? A little ball, a little, little rod. We'll put those aside keep them in place and now this thing should come right off oh wait that's it yeah yep comes right off and see we'll probably put some got this little kit right here a little carburetor cleaning kit comes with a bunch of different brushes and 
um, things that you can poke in all these little holes and make sure they're all clean. Doesn't look too shabby. Looks pretty good. I'll give that a good dip in the, in the chem dip. Okay, pretty dirty in there. So that's why the fuel's not getting through. We're gonna take get a bigger screwdriver to take this thing off. We'll go ahead and take the old fuel filter off. Okay. Let's see. Nothing there. Oh, that's really gummy in there. Like glue, like varnish. So we'll clean all that up. We'll take these um, the jets out. These are the jets. And then we'll take this cover off next and this one. And that way we can replace it. And then these are the air mixtures, air mixture valves. So let's take, go ahead and take these out. Oh, don't lose the spring. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. Oh. So, I think all this carburetor needed was it set for over 20 years and the gasoline dried up, evaporated, and it just clogged everything up. Okay, that's the second air mixture, air screw mixture. Oh, okay, there we go. That looks pretty good. And then let me get another tool to take these guys off and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So now I'll we'll take this cover off right here or screws. I believe they're all the same size, so it doesn't matter if they get mixed up. Right, let's double check. Okay. Yeah, they seem all pretty much the same size. I think that's it. Yep. Um, you always want to double check, make sure this, the screws or the bolts are all the same size. You don't want to mix them up and then ha don't know which hole they go into. But yeah, they seem all the same size. Let's take this off. Yeah, it looks like this carburetor was just rebuilt. Everything looks brand new. So I'm really not gonna I'll have to take it off anyways to um take it off anyways to dip the carb body in and cleaner. So I might as well just take it off and rebuild it. Start from scratch. So I know this wrench is a little bit overkill for this size but that's what I have out oh, nice and tight so we'll unscrew that yeah see kind of gummy mm -hmm. come on let me focus okay a little gummy uh, pretty dirty, so we'll replace that. This will another little there you go. All right, let's take all right, well, quarter inch screw bolt. Everything's very gummed up. So. There's a little spring, forgot about that. A little spring goes right here. Oh, uh, that's opposite. So a little spring goes right there. Put that aside. All the bolts are the same. I'll put that with the spring. And then it should pop right out. The kit comes with a new one of these, so we'll just, yeah, it's kind of old. So. I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. So, 
save. I have a bigger screw driver to take my stuff off. Uh, someone's at the door, so the dogs are going crazy. Let me go check what's going on. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, so I got a bigger screwdriver, a little flat, flatter one, so you can take, try to take these off. And try to be careful because it might be a little bit more fragile. So. Yeah, these are. These are in there for sure. I don't want to damage them, so maybe I'll just leave them in and dip the body in. So, all right. Let's, let's take off the choke. Money? All right. We'll take this off. It's like a big puzzle. Big old adult Lego set. A lot of little pieces. I have to remember where they all go. Good thing I'm videotaping everything to remind me later. Don't want to have any leftover pieces or missing pieces. That wouldn't be good. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. This is this little clamp just holds the heater hose to kind of heat up the when you're heating up the car it helps get the car running better quicker okay oops well i guess that all comes out together Pretty long screws. Right. There's little washers on there too, so I have to be careful not to lose those. And now. Uh, this thing's attached. Another little C clip. Uh, let me go ahead and pop that off. I don't know if you can see. Let's see. A little clip right there. I'm trying to take that off. There we go. Nice and easy. And. Get this little attachment. So there you go. Voila. And we just have this. I don't think I want to mess with this too much. You know. So I think all of this can go in the cleaner. Um, yeah, I couldn't get couldn't get the jets out. They're a little glued on there. So I'm gonna dip it in the cleaner, and we'll go from there. And Bearman doesn't play with this lid protector. It took or it took a little struggling to get this thing off. Finally got it off. So, whoa, that was crazy. Been in my hot garage for a while, so she like a shotgun went off. Ooh, it wakes you up in the morning. All right, let's check this out. Parts, parts basket. So let's go ahead and maybe move this to the side. See how. Oh, oh yeah, fits right in like a glove. So we'll let that sit for a little bit, and then we'll come back to it. All right, so I. I got the carburetor out of the cleaner 
as you can see it's very nice and clean like all this part came out perfectly um, I was able to get the jets out I uh, put those in the cleaner as well with blow caps and these came out like brand new look at that like really good looking gave it a little wipe um, also put on the could only fit this part of the of the cover in but it came out really good just gave it a little quick wipe as well so I didn't put this in I'm not too worried about it but went with a little carb cleaner um, into each one of these holes and sprayed it all out make sure it was everything was really good look how clean this part came out too you know, I'll probably do a before and after picture of it so you guys can see how gunked up it was but not too bad huh looks really good nice and clean then I took put all the small parts in it put this in and I sprayed carb cleaner in all these little holes um, one thing you have to be careful is when you're spraying carb cleaner and different things um, I was spraying and it shot back at me so it shot me in the eye had it rinse out my eyes for a while and a little irritated a little red but all good um so yeah be careful when you're doing that so i believe everything came out nice and clean these came out really like shiny so they came out really good i think everything came out good so i think it's time to uh put it all back together and uh let's see which which way we should start out um i'll be right back i'm gonna decide to put the choke back on so it seems like the most viable easier thing to do so what i'm going to do let's kind of remember where this went kind of went like that and then this little gizmo went in there so let's go ahead and put that back on and then we have to put a uh, the C clamp back on it. A C clip. Okay, it's on there. A C clip. No. See right now because my eyes extremely irritated, puffy and red. All that. You probably wear goggles when you use cleaners. Uh, that looks like it's correct. Let's check it out. Let's see. So, see that little clip right there? See that little fork? They have to go mesh right in the middle. And then the screws go in.
Pops open or pops in. Be very gentle. It's almost in. There we go. That's it. Right in. screw for the spring goes like this and that goes right in there oh, yeah. let me look at that all right so yes that goes in spring lid and I have to balance it somehow like a balancing trick. Let me get the screws in there. Okay, so I'm gonna put the screws in. Grab a little bit of each screw just to hold it.
and snug and crisscross. Okay, we'll go ahead and put this guy in. compared to this guy. Well, let's find that gasket. Alright, so new gasket. Make sure it's sandwiched right in there. I'm gonna put it there we go. I think that's a better way of doing it. Give that a little snug. Not too much, you don't wanna break anything. Okay. Now we're gonna look for this guy. Tighten this up. Don't remember. I can't go that way. I if it goes this way. Hmm. Make it look back. So I look back on the video, and this is the way it goes. I'll get the four screws. I should have put the screws in the cleaner as well, but they came out nice and clean, but it's not a big deal. If you're ever in doubt, you don't know, you can look at your parts and see that what we're doing right now. It's this one. So it's screws, um, gasket. Oh, we forgot that. Let's see. All right, we did put that on. Snug, crisscross, not too much. You don't want to strip the bolts or break them. It's just nice and tight. Just technically supposed to do it by um, do it with. Gaskets in here. Oh, red gasket. Oh, that was kind of big. That should be fine. Gotta be careful not to cross thread it.
Okay. So I went ahead and put the gaskets on all these guys because it didn't come with a couple of them. So I had to make it work with some of the older stuff. Which is fine. They seem brand new anyway, so not a big deal. So I want to be careful with these. I don't want to cross thread them and then we're SLO. Nice and snug. That looks nice. Look at that. That's a look brand new almost. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the old check valve. I'm gonna put it right in there. And the old. Right in there. And then go ahead and put this gasket. I guess it doesn't fit either. What is going on? Let me see if they have another one. Which, of course they don't. So, we'll have to use the old one. It's weird. That's two things this kit was missing. Not cool. See? The old one has this little dip. The new one does not. So, I'm sure I'm not missing it. Oh, so. And then this screw, or bolt, I put the little washer on already. It's nice and snug. Okay, moving on. Go ahead and put this on. So I'm gonna need to put clip this on. Oh. Okay, a little dangle, and that goes right in there. Okay, very cool. Now, forget this. And that, see how that goes underneath? And then this one will go against the wall. So I'll make sure it's against the wall and that goes inside so let me zoom in for you so that strings against the wall spring you can push this back there we go so 
Notice how this moves up and down now. So that pretty good. Now we can. So you, what you want to do is make sure that this float is pretty parallel. See if it needs a Now we can just clip. Small screw. Pop it right in. Yep, there you go. Clicks right in. Okay, took it apart because I felt like this was a little sticky, wasn't moving completely, so I dunked it in the um, carb cleaner for a little bit, and then we'll put it back together. So again, that goes in that hole. Okay, this has to be more parallel. There we go. I feel like that a little bit more for you. Okay. Now we can take a screwdriver and just click this holder back in. There we go. So it moves a little freer, nice and clean. What do you think? A little parallel. Okay, cool. So now it's all put in, all there. Awesome. Okay. So, so this was the old gasket new gasket so i think uh, what do you think i think it goes the other way This casket set is kind of crappy. So, just go for that. You make a tool to help you install little clips.
Okay, got the clip back in. Oh, clip right there. All right. Let's deal with this gasket issue. Last thing we have to do is put the mixing screws in. Let's go right here. They didn't, this kit didn't come with new springs, so we'll just go ahead and use our old springs. And then they go right in here. We'll be careful not to cross thread on either. So get that one started. And we'll go ahead and do this one. And what I've read is you put them all the way in okay all the way in and then you do one and a half turns out so like half one one and a half that's the starting point then you can adjust it when it's on the car. So again, all the way in. Okay, let me see. Let's go all the way in. Okay, that's all the way in. So. Half a turn. One turn. One half. Cool. Not too bad, not too bad. And then all we have to do is install it on the car and see how it goes. Put a air fuel filter on. See if I have any no gaskets. Leftover gaskets I can use. Too bad. Nice and clean. No, 